Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So I said I would test out the new Juma. We have a Juma 2.0. Well, basically he just got moved over here instead of being in Valenhas and he has some updated rewards. You can see his bags now say they contain companion, mount and vanity items. And so uh, let's go and claim that. Also says it contains some rare gear. But you can go and you can actually use a slider to buy as many as you want. However, you're never going to buy 99 at once because unfortunately the max cap is 5,000. So the maximum you could buy is actually only 33. Now, before we do buy them, let's go over how you're obtaining the currency you need for him. Well, you're very simply just doing quests to obtain them. It's just 12 glyphs per repeatable quest with then 60 glyphs per weekly quest. Then you can go into your new zone and you can do your heroic encounters. Again, just 10 for the small ones and 20 for the major heroics. That is it. You're, you're really not gaining a lot of those glyphs, much like if you ran the North Dark Reaches you're gaining as just as many glyphs as you would these brain coins, if not less for those of you who are doing like Master Temple of the Spider and getting coins that way. And it's a whopping 150 per Juma bag and you can get the Abyssal Chicken Vanity Pet if you haven't got it before for just 50 of those glyphs. It will no longer drop from Juma bags. Now I can go and I can buy 10 and we can go ahead and do so and very nicely they are going to stack you don't need to have a ton of inventory space to house these juma bags no more and we can go and we can open them they used to notoriously give you a ton of abyssal chickens you could see my previous videos on opening juma bags and you would have seen that it's like 33 percent chance you'd get a, an abyssal chicken vanity pet so opening the first we can already see that's what we did obtain before some potions and some rough ad not looking too good there again same reward now here we obtain some epic gear and what is this gear well it's from the dragon hunter gear and this in particular is what you would get when you actually spend the currency in your dragon hunts dragon slayer and you'd be able to buy that exact headpiece right there. The worn circlet of the dragon hunter. Yes, it's exactly that one. And uh, yeah, that then is going to have a total of 1,650 item level. It is account bound, so I can transfer it to other characters. I mean, the bonus on it is pretty terrible. I mean, I guess knocking back enemies can be useful when you're in a pinch and need to uh, save yourself. But uh, generally knocking away enemies is not the best idea. Just stun them or daze them. And then another armor piece again. All dragon hunter stuff along with some potions. We get another dragon hunter gear piece. And that's more just potion and rough AD. The next one another armor piece. We have a full set here. And the second one is another potion. And the last one we finally got actually something which was a mount so uh i don't deem these worth to open unless you're a new player accessing this new zone via this right where you would jump in when you've just hit level 20 and you can access this zone you can go do your quests kill enemies by getting scaled up i don't actually never tested how feasible that is but uh, then you could spend some currency here on juma and get potentially get this gear i don't recommend it because what you can do is just um, yeah, some random cues, get these like seals of the north and then go and spend those seals of the north at your seals trader and uh, get some gear here with 1700 item level. It's got more item level and since you're just getting gear for item level anyway, you can just forget about the bonuses and uh, you can work towards getting better gear with better bonuses generally in Dragon Slayer getting the mythic stuff here that's really good bonuses there are some other bonuses of like seals of the dragon which you have like the boots here they are pretty good and then the head piece there you may as well get it if you're doing dragon hunts anyway and then the armor piece is not too bad either and then same with the arms piece for some classes and so that's probably what i would go for and just try getting to your trial queue every day getting those extra seals and also doing dragon hunts will get you your seals you need as well they give dragon seals and at juma i think it's just going to be a big waste reason is because 
Yes, he can drop some random companions and mounts, but the currency now to spend on his bags is actually pretty precious. Like, you can spend that currency in your Menza Branson campaign store on other items. You can buy your keys for your examinator's trial. You can buy these wards, the slayer ones and the demon ones, sell them on the auction house. They'll most likely sell because people will use them to farm Demogorgon. And then in the insignias and enchantments, you'll also use those glyphs to buy these insignias and then to buy the enchantments. People have been making um, lots of astral diamonds selling these combat enchantments and so on. You need 500 of those glyphs. So those glyphs are pretty valuable and you'll be using them if you want to get this gear as well even if it's just for the visuals the bonuses are uh, really not great on those guys i made a video covering them you can check that out and then you will also need some of those glyphs if you want to upgrade the gear that you'll get in master temple of the spider you can do master temple of the spider get the uh, currency from there and go to the North Dark Reaches and you can actually get like uh, the gear here. The armor piece is pretty good in the new trial examinants reliquary because it's considered under mountain and so you get a basically 10% damage boost there and uh, then you can go and upgrade it like uh, I will and get a 6% damage bonus there. Same with the headpiece as well. That's also a really good one to upgrade. You'll end up with a 3% uh, action point gain whenever you kill an enemy. I have yet to test though if it stacks with the boots. It may not, Executioner's uh, Zia. It may not stack twice, like usually bonuses with the same name don't stack. Anyway, that's Juma. Overall, I think it's very disappointing. Uh, they could have made it a lot better. Could have made the drops on companions and mounts a bit more enticing, but like what I just spent there for on 10 Juma bags, it's like hours and hours of grinding. Uh, yeah. And what do we show for it? Well, a bunch of uh, gear that's not really going to be used and some potions with a green mount. And like, to be honest, I don't think they have updated the loot table in terms of all the other rewards. They've changed the gear and they would have changed the Abyssal Chicken Vanity Pet drops. And the rest probably remains the same with potions having a, a higher drop rate as well. So hopefully this is somewhat insightful, you guys. I would not waste your glyphs on, on Juma now. You might want to spend them on Juma in maybe five modules down the road. But right now, they're too precious. You you want to be getting gear with them, enchantments, insignias, even if it's just to sell them. And yeah. Massive thank you again to all these channel members for their continued support. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. Oh, and yeah, we'll undoubtedly do a much larger test on Juma when I actually get a character to have 5,000 of those glyphs. When I do, I can copy that character over to preview and yeah, open Juma bags per character and we can get a nice extensive test done there to see really what the drop rates are. For now, it looks abysmal. Okay, so see you guys around. Goodbye for now.